Hello, we are live. It is Direct Mail Monday, July 8th, 2019. Steve Cypress here. First official business day for the vast majority of people in the second half of 2019. So halftime is over. Let's start the second half. Hopefully you are already more than halfway towards your goals for the year. And now we're going to put the pedal to the metal and kick total butt. So Direct Mail Monday, I'm going to share, as I always do, a piece. I don't always do it, but I usually do. A piece of mail that arrived in my own personal mailbox. And it is, once again, another piece addressed to my deceased mom. There, Marilyn Cypress. Um, for those that don't know, and I say this every time, for those that don't know, to clear up the confusion, why am I receiving a direct ma a mail addressed to my deceased mom? It's because... As the administrator of her account, I had her uh, mail uh, forwarded to my address, and even though the forwarding order has expired, my mom uh, is apparently on a number of mailing lists, and I still, people are renting those lists all the time, and I'm still receiving mail all the time addressed to her, and almost, um, I'd say majority, probably 80% of it, uh, it's, it's Everything in life falls along the lines of the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. I'd say about 80% of it, and if you follow my direct mail Mondays, you would second that belief. Uh, it has to do something with uh, hearing aids. My mom had hearing aids, and that's big money. If you don't know, if you haven't had clients in that industry, that is a big money industry with plenty of money to be made after the initial sale. And so that's why someone on that, uh, who's bought hearing aids is going to be, that name is going to be purchased or rented over and over and over and marketed to over and over and over. So I'm just going to guess that's what this is, but we shall see. And Sid is here, good seeing you. And so I, it was either last week or the week before where I shared a piece of what I call sneak up mail. So for those that didn't see that video or hear it or, or not uh, familiar with the term, I will explain it again. Sneak up mail is is my a uh, term that I use and others use it, but there are other terms for mail that businesses send uh, attempting to have it received as if it were personal mail. In other words, the business is sneaking up on the prospect, uh, not broadcasting loud and clear. This is business mail. They're attempting to make it appear as personal mail or at the very least as mail coming from a business as in this case, one that you don't know what it is. So you are more likely to open it. In either case, you're much more likely to open it if you believe it's personal. You're even more likely, of course, to open it if it doesn't broadcast what particular business it's from because human beings are curious and we just want to know what it is for some reason. And so that's human behavioral psychology and everything I talk about in all of my videos and in all of my courses and all my books and all my magazine articles and anytime you hear me or see me interviewed on radio or TV or any of my blog posts or anything is only about two things. That's math and human behavioral psychology. So in this case, human behavioral psychology says if I don't know what that piece of mail is, who it's from, geez, I just got to open it up and see who it's from. And that is the first job of any piece of direct mail is you got to get it open. And I talk about that often, and that's why I probably talk more about the outside of the direct mail piece than anything else. Just like if you were sending emails, I would talk more about the subject line than anything else. Because 80 or 90% of emails never get read. It all comes down to, well, it comes down to the sender uh, getting through into your inbox. This isn't a, a video about email, but mostly it comes to that subject line, whether or not you will click on that email. And the same thing with the social media posts, it's all about the, the uh, or a tweet, it's all about what you say there to see if you're going to get the click further on to more material. So in this case, the click in old school marketing is, am I in, in direct mail, is am I going to open the envelope, click to see what's inside. In this case, the click is opening it. So this is what I mean by sneak up uh, and done poor. No actual name of a business. But why do I say poorly? Because this doesn't even, I mean, this they're not even attempting to really sneak up on anybody. This is clearly commercial mail. 
I mean, we've got the ridiculous computer barcode thing down there. We've got a window envelope. Last time somebody's grandmother sent a personal note in a windowed envelope, let me know, uh, with a barcode and with an indicia that says, oops, uh, pre-sort standard U.S. postage paid. See, I haven't even looked at it yet, but I know the indicia. It's not a live stamp. It's not even a fake stamp. It's not even a, uh, a regular indicia. This is a pre-sorted so it's a reduced postage for those of you that use direct mail. If you do it this way, it's pre-sorted. I recommend using pre-sorted reduced postage when you're sending direct mail to your house list to people that know you and are already more likely to open it up. So it's the annual or quarterly or monthly catalog, your monthly newsletter, any kind of an announcement, any kind of uh, special offer that you send out once in a while. People are likely to open that. You would put the name of your business here. They have simply put the address, and you would not have to put a live stamp. In that case, you could save some money by sending it by the uh, broadcast uh, or by the uh, the bulk rate. So you get the uh, the postage paid anyway. So clearly, it's business mail, not really sneaking up. The only thing about it that sneak up is I don't know where it's from. So if it weren't for this video, of course, I'm tossing this in the mail because clearly it's not something meaningful that might come to my mom, like some payment from some long lost thing that I, as the administrator of her state, need to open up and deposit that check and split it with my sister because she's the only other uh, beneficiary of the estate. Um, and clearly it's not in this case, anything from an insurance company or some long lost annuity or account or anything she had, it would say so on it. It wouldn't just be bogus, no address, which is a blatant clear attempt to do what I said, which to get it open because of curiosity, not because I know it's important. If it had a name of a bank or an insurance company addressed to my mom in a windowed envelope and it looked like that was a check, well, then I would know it's important. But this is sneaking up, trying to make it seem like we know it's from business, but man, you don't know what it is. We're counting on your human behavioral psychology to get you up with this. So let's open it, see what's inside. Now I have my handy dandy sharpie ready because even though i've privacy purposes i have uh sharpie down the address since it's a window envelope not gonna fool me here i understand that i'm gonna have to once i open it i'm gonna have to once again sharpie out the address on the actual piece so there you go so what is it oh what do you know something about hearing aids <laughs> who could have guessed who could have guessed my mom is her name and my address, quote her address, have once again, as I fit that, I gotta take out the garbage here. I could barely fit that into the circular file. Uh, so once again, her name and my address, her address has been rented by another hearing aid company to sell her more hearing aid stuff. So update your hearing aids to some new technology. You know, it's similar to those of you that don't buy or sell hearing aids, it's similar to the whole uh, smartphone industry. You know, every couple of years, Apple, Samsung, all of them have to convince you that the phone you bought six months or a year or two years ago that was state-of-the-art, unbelievable, solved all your problems, the greatest thing ever, is suddenly completely obsolete and useless and crappy. And you have to spend six, eight hundred, a thousand dollars now on a new cell phone because the new one that is one bazillionth of a millimeter thinner and uh, one bazillionth of an ounce lighter and has 42 more pixels in the photos or whatever reason, it's so incredibly much better that it's time for you to sign another contract to have to pay us more money for another two or three years that you can't cancel or else you pay some ridiculous, all that kind of stuff. So it's similar in many industries and hearing aids is one of them. Uh, ooh, ah, you better upgrade to the latest, greatest stuff. Your hearing aid, you know, why'd you get it? If you have an old one, don't you want to hear better? Don't you want it to be lighter? Don't you want it to feel more comfortable? Don't you want it to last longer and be easier to clean? And the batteries are cheaper and they're easier to put in and blah, 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 blah. See, I don't even have to read it. That's all of what all this stuff says. And so uh, uh, at least they're using a headline. Most local small business owners forget all about that or don't even know about that. Or after I tell them 100 times, they still don't do it. Uh, they'll just put the name of their business at the top or a useless slogan or something. But here it is, a headline. Here are the sounds of summer again. 
So now there's two jobs of a headline, but those of you that don't know, first job is to get my attention, which this does not really do, even though it's topical. It's summertime. They've got pictures of happy grandkids here. In this case, it's likely to be mailed. My mom was 83 when she passed away, and, and now she'd be 89 this year. Um, and uh, uh, so it's got happy, you know, grandparents, grandkids type of things. Maybe you're bird watching or you're, you know, flying a kite, going to the beach or going out to a park or you're watching a baseball game and you want to hear better. Uh, so those are the sounds of summer. Remember the sounds of children laughing as they run into play, birds singing in the trees, waves crashing on the shore, the laughter of family. They've lost me already. The first job is to get my attention, which just barely did. And the second thing is to make me want to read the rest. But then the job of the first sentence is the same thing. It's got to make me want to read the rest. And already they lost me with their nonsense rambling about the sounds of children. Laugh. Get to the point. Get to the point. So they've screwed up already. Uh, for some reason, the biggest thing on the page is refer a friend and receive 50 bucks. Refer to what? And 50 bucks? I mean, well, a lot of seniors are on a fixed income and 50 bucks might mean something, but refer a friend to buy hearing aids for hundreds and hundreds of dollars and I only get 50 bucks? Give me a break. Uh, hear better today. Get the Riazzo 4 hearing aid for only 500 bucks per aid. Who cares that the MSRP is $12.99? For that's 1000 bucks. They're attempting to make a $1,000 sale. Special offer this week only, but of course with no date. On the deadline, we know that's BS. It's whatever week only that they mail it, which means it's not whatever week only. I assure you, this company is so full of BS that if I call them up a week after I receive this and say, can I have it, there, even if I tell them, I bet I have to prove it's such BS. Oh, if only it was daytime right now. I'd make the call right now. My office line, I'd just pick up the phone and say, uh, you know, I received this over a week ago. Can I still get the, the discount, the special offer discount, even though I missed it by a week? And watch how full of BS they are. They'd say, sure, you can. We understand. You must have been on vacation or, you know, you didn't, you had so much mail, you didn't read it in time. Or if it was a holiday. Oh, it was a holiday. It was July 4th, you see. I didn't read it in time or blah, 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 blah. Uh, convenient locations to serve me. New location in Scottsdale, Sun City, which, by the way, is a retirement community. A uh, smart place to put a hearing aid center. Tempe, Chandler, Peoria, Phoenix, Paradise Valley, which is also Scottsdale, Mesa. So they've got the whole area covered here pretty much. And they've got that Calariza 8 for only 1000 bucks each. That's two grand. they have got that Riazzo 4 for only a grand for the pair. Refer, they still think that's the best thing about this piece, that you refer a family member or friend and get a $50 check. That's the idea of the piece, to get a referral. I just think the whole thing's terrible. And call to get a free hearing evaluation. Everyone knows, just like, that's like a contractor saying free estimates. Like every single hearing aid play, place worth anything. And, and, uh, you'd have to be pretty far out, pretty rural, and in a pretty area full of dumb doctors to not be able to find somebody who will give you a free hearing aid test evaluation so that you might buy hearing aids for $2,000 for a couple of hearing aids plus all the batteries you're going to need all the time and blah, blah, blah. And your insurance coverage may pay for it. That, to me, that's the bottom thing they put. That would be the top thing I would put. No, get the $2,000 hearing aids for $0 out of your pocket. Call for details. Boom. Or would you rather have hear the sounds of summer again? So that'll wrap it up for Direct Mail Monday today. Just a few lessons from this. I do like the fact they've got full color, double-sided. They don't have any customers saying any great things about it. That's a big mistake. But they are using basically every inch of the piece, so that's smart. Using full color, that's smart. Um, not a lot else I could say that's very smart about this. You know, it's got a lot of big mistakes, but I will say big companies like this put so much money into their advertising and marketing that even getting tiny, teeny, tiny results, they still end up making money and they still do more of it. So as a small business, a local business owner, where we 
likely care a lot more about every one of our pennies and every one of our seconds in the day that we have to invest in our business a lot more than the salaried employee no doubt that came up with this and doesn't really care if it works or not they'll just make up some excuse if it didn't and they'll keep their job anyway and the person that made this up has likely never owned a business just like you know 90 percent of politicians that make all the rules regarding small businesses they've never owned a business they've never as they say signed the front of a paycheck They've always endorsed one on the back, but they've never signed the front a paycheck like we do, business owners, when we meet payroll. Politicians haven't done it, and the people writing this kind of crap haven't done it. So as a small business owner, especially watching my videos, or even smarter, you go to helpfromsteve.com, and we get on the phone, and I give you a one-on-one -on -one consultation just to help you out. can't spend all day with you, but I will help you out. Um, you are almost guaranteed to come up with something better than this stuff, but at least... They got one thing on you if you're just watching this video and not doing direct mail. They're using direct mail. So even when it sucks like this, I can guarantee it's making money because they keep mailing it out over and over. So their crappy piece makes them a crap load more money than your perfect piece that you've never done. Or your your crappy piece that you haven't done because you're like, I don't know what to do. And gee, I, help, I don't know how to spell help from steve.com to go get your help, Steve. So I'm just going to keep not using direct mail. But your videos, they're fun. They're entertaining. Oops. If your goal in life is to be entertained instead of to make money, then uh, I don't know why you own a business, but uh, teach their own. And that'll do it for direct mail money. I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday, where I will dive into something that's happening, something that's on people's minds. And I'll share a business lesson from that. So thanks to everyone watching today. Post your questions, comments, concerns. I don't see any live on the video here, but post them in a comment below wherever you're watching or listening to this. I always respond when appropriate. Thanks for being here today, and I will catch you tomorrow. Over and out. Bye-bye.